What's good, Storm fans? I am Brent Cook, and tonight we are forcing Storm in the Vintage Cube. It's what we always do no matter what. I draft Storm, so I hope you're ready. Here, our first pick is one of these two lands, and I will value the Volcanic a little bit higher just because High Tide is something you really want to be doing in the cube and having duels that are islands pretty good. Pick two, we have Mana Drain, Duress, Top, and Frantic Search. Frantic Search is my pick here. Mana Drain's very, very acceptable, but I'm going for the Tide deck here, so I want the Frantic Search. I've already drafted the Island. Let's stay on theme. Even if I don't end up with the uh, High Tide, but I end up with like a Goblin Electromancer or a Baral, Frantic Search is filtering plus mana. Demonic Tutor, third pick. Don't mind if I do. Originally, I was over here looking at this Preordain, but Demonic Tutor signed me up. This is a good pack. There's still a Jace in there, some other playables. Love it. Lion's Eye Diamond. I think Storm's open. We'll take that. So the... One of the more recent iterations of the cube, they added in Underworld Breach. We're really looking to find that at this point. So, Thousand Year Storm versus Spell Pierce, Gilded Lotus. Mystic Confluence is fine. It's a little clunky for Storm, in my opinion. I think we take the Thousand Year because we can copy Frantic Search and Demonic Tutor with it. Holy moly, we got my favorite card for playing Storm in the Cube. Bolas is Citadel. So, now what I'm looking to do is draft Tinker. Tinker Citadel is always what happens whenever I have my best cube decks. Pretty easy uh, Seething Song selection here. So we're looking less like the High Tide deck at the moment, but it's certainly possible. Wow, that's a late Underground Sea. Take that. This deck's looking very good. With decks like this where you have Thousand Year Bolasus in it all, I've even played Show and Tell a few times in the past. I don't love Show and Tell, don't get me wrong, but I think it is acceptable when you have both of the big payoffs. If you're going to play the show and tell, you can also draft Palancron. Palancron's a card I tend to stick away from. I think it's actually kind of poopy, but if that's what you're into, you can draft and show and tell that into play as well. I've also been burned off show and tell in the past, where like when you only have one thing to put into play and your opponent drops like a blight steal or whatever, that can certainly hurt. Okay, mana flare. Yeah, let's take that flare. Pretty good with the frantic search we already have. Duress, so the top didn't make it back, but Duress is still a fine pick. I'm liking this deck. Duretti is theoretically a way to sneak in the Citadel. I mean, it's not amazing, but I've played it before. It's fine. Dig through time versus this other stuff. We'll take the dig, but I'm not actually convinced we're going to play it. Like, it's playable, uh, certainly if you have a lot of fetch lands, but we're also a Blossom Citadel deck, at least as of right now. I think it also gets a lot better if your deck doesn't have any sort of payoff like Yawgmoth's Will, Past in Flames, etc. I mean, we could end up as a Luris deck, you never know. I mean, we'll just cut all these expensive cards from our deck and we'll sideboard into Luris. All right, Tangle Wire. I mean, we got 12 playables out of that. That's pretty good. The Guild of Lotus is arguably cuttable, but it th I think it depends on what else we open. Like, if our deck ends up being insane, it's a cut. If it ends up being fine, maybe it fits in. I'd like to see some more mana making here. So some uh, Mythic Artifacts might be nice. Dark Ritual, Cabal Ritual, you know, stuff like that. How about uh, this for a Mythic Artifact, Soul Ring, arguably the one of the best cards in the cube. Some people say that it's better than Mana Crypt. Some people think it's better than Lotus. I don't know if I agree with that, but it's certainly our selection here. I'm also interested in the Marsh Flats that will not wheel, but I do think this Brawl is likely to come back to us. So we'll take the Soul Ring. It's a good pack. Echo of Aeons, that's looking pretty good here. We we already have the Lion's Eye Diamond. We could take the Blight Steel in case we do end up with Tinker. But I don't like taking more cards for Tinker when we don't have it yet. 
So I think it's going to be the Echo. We also have the Frantic Search to set it up alongside the Lion's Eye Diamond, so we have a few ways of making that work here. Ooh, the Duretti too, if we decide to play that. Okay. Badlands, Probe. Those are likely the picks here. I mean, you could take Fiery Eyelid as well. I think Probe is probably the pick. Although I do want the Badlands. We have two duels already. Let's take the spell. If I didn't already have fixing, I think I would have taken the Badlands. Collector Brutality, Seagate Stormcall are both acceptable. There's not really a whole lot else in this pack. So do I would I rather have something that copies or the brutality for a little bit of removal? I think we take the removal here. Also, a great way to discard Echo of Aeons. And it can be a Tundras of Agony with Thousand Year Storm as well. Uh, it thinks I should take a Leovold. I mean, I currently don't have green in my deck, but the rest of this pack isn't very good. So let's take the Leo. We could always splash it. And there's the Tide. Tide versus Wheel of Fortune, huh? We're taking the wheel. I'm sorry, High Tide. I only have the one in Tapper right now anyway, and Wheel's just busted. Maybe we'll get to Wheel the High Tide. So right now we have Echo of Aeons and Leovol, which is a combo. I don't have a whole lot of green fixing, though. So I could take, like, the Windswept Teeth. I don't love that. I could take the Gruel Signet, which would give me two colors, and it would make casting the Leovol a little bit easier, or I can just take this Canal. You could argue that I should take the Fable, because the Fable discards Echo and creates treasures. Hmm. Tough call. I'm going to take the Signet, I think. Blooded Strand. Fixing this late is pretty nice. Brawl did wheel, or we get the Blooming Marsh. I think it's just the Brawl. None of these cards are good. We'll take this thing. I'm, not, I'm never going to play it, but it, at least it's on color. I might be, like, bringing myself to into a trap here by trying to splash the Leable, then maybe I should have just taken the, uh, the fast land. All right, Stomping Ground's a good one. I don't want to play Raging Ravine, so if I don't have to, that'd be nice. Uh, none of these matter. We'll take Scholar. We wield the tide. How the tides have turned. Bizarre. Is that a time lock? Ooh. I mean, Academy and Lotus Petal are also very good. We don't actually have a good Academy deck. I do want this Lotus Petal, but we're just going to take the piece of power. Tendrils of Agony, huh? And the Breach. We don't have Brain Freeze, though. I think Breach is actually better than Tendrils. I'm going to try to wheel the Tendrils. I know it's risky. I'm going to try to do this. This is going to bite me square in the buns. Mox Jet. Wow. Holy moly. That's a late Jet. That's third pick in this pack. We got the Tinker. Oh my, we have Tinker Citadel. This deck is nuts. This deck is nuts. Uh, wow. Ball Ritual versus Oracle versus Turnabout. I think Oracle's the last card I want in this pack, but do I take Cabal Ritual, or do I take the Turnabout when I have High Tide? Could also take... The, uh, I can't take the Delta. It's... Okay, it's like double-clicking. Like, I was attempting to drag the Cabal Ritual there, and it just selected. Wishclaw versus Brainstorm. Wishclaw's an artifact for Tinker. Yeah, it's just like selecting anything I click on at the moment. I need to be careful. Our deck might be good enough that I don't want the Leobold in it as well. I guess good for splashing Leo. 
It's that or the Strix. I think I'd rather have the Taiga. None of these cards are that good. I mean, I could take the Regrowth here, but I'm, realistically, I'm not going to play any of this. I mean, I could play the Jetmere's Garden as another Taiga effect. I guess I'll take this, but I'm not going to play it. We did not get back Lotus Petal, so I'm not even sure if we play Academy. Some people think this card is playable. I've never had a good experience with it. I'm just going to take the Academy. I th no, I should take the Portal. I'm not going to play it, probably, but... Ooh, I, I wield the Tendies. Come on, give me Turnabout, please. Guess we take Metamorph. Maybe I should take Shriek Maw as a removal. Nice sideboard option. Because I'm probably not going to play the Metamorph. Lodestone Golem, is that what I'm drafting here? Alright, I mean, it's uh, the best card in the pack, right? We gotta take the best card. Not at all hate drafting. I think there's a good chance we don't actually play High Tide here. We just accept that we have Mana Flare, Frantic Search, and Brawl. The uh, Frantic Search is also pretty good with Underworld Breach for what it's worth. Ooh, we did get the turnabout. Brainstorm versus Welder. Welder could actually put Citadel into play, but I think it's just the Brainstorm. Let's switch this over to Pile View. Am I supposed to try to make the tide work? I just don't think I have enough duels. I mean, I'm sort of interested in playing this Duretti, but I also think that maybe I don't have enough, or maybe my deck is so good that I don't need it. I also only have four artifacts for Tinker, five with Wish Claw. Not a whole lot. I could like play the retrofitter, but I think this card isn't really what we want to be doing. So if I add in some lands, I'm gonna get rid of that. That's 14 lands. That's a little bit light. Even with the mocks. Let's get rid of the Gilded Lotus. Add in an island. That's 15 with the mocks. If we're going to be playing Mana Flare, I think I want 16 lands. I wonder if I should just cut the Thousand Year Storm. Like, is that the next weakest card in the deck? That or is it the Leovold? And I just cut all the green mana sources. I think that might actually be the correct move here. Like, obviously Leovold can win the game on its own, but... Maybe I just accept having better mana. And if this is the case, I have 8... Islands in my deck, maybe I can afford to play High Tide. So I cut the Thousand Year Storm. So if I decide I wanted to play one less Swamp, I have six black sources. That might not be enough. Seven with the Mox Jet. Five islands plus two duels is seven. Flooded Strand is eight. Maybe I'm just not supposed to play the high tide. Or if I want to play tide, I go up to 17 lands. Tough call. Our deck ended up having a lot of playables. So let's look at the spells that are good with Thousand Year Storm. We have Turnabout. Echo doesn't really count. Frantic Search. Seething Song. Brainstorm, Probe, Cabal Ritual, Time Walk, Demonic Tutor. So about eight. All right, I'm going to cut the Thousand Year, and I'm going to bring back the Duretti. Executive Decision. I can't believe I'm actually playing Duretti here. Let's go. All right, I'm calling it now. We will 3-0 this draft right now. Uh, I don't actually know how true that is. I feel like our deck is like a seven, maybe a seven and a half, but we'll see how it goes. 
I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the first match. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, early access to videos, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us such as theepicsroom.com shop or submitting a donation deck via the epicsworm.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Turn to Tinker. Don't mind if I do. Keep. I am very, very excited about this. <laughs> Let's go. Mock Sapphire. Okay. Fiery Islet. That's scary. Magda. Draw. I want to look a little more innocent, so I'm going to lead on Swamp Soul Ring instead of Island. Or maybe I did the opposite by leading on Swamp. I don't know. The dwarf will get in. They create a treasure. The poor person's Ragavan. They play a land. I don't think I'm supposed to jam Tinker into this. I'm just going to pass the turn. Magna gets in again. We'll go to 16. Six mana, four cards. And they're just passing the turn. Fetch. Grab Volcanic. Mondras. You're ready. I think I'm going to try to be sneaky here. I'm going to try to ritual out the Duretti. See if they'll counter it. Three mana, four mana cryptic. It is in fact a cryptic. Time walk. All right, they have four cards, two mana open. They could have counter spell here. Draw. Am I supposed to play around mana leak? I, th I don't know if mana leak is even in the cube. It probably is. But I think I'm supposed to just jam my spell. If I lose the mana leak here, I'm going to be so sad. All right. Get our Citadel. Claw is a great way of starting. Player land and another land. Okay. Let's uh, activate the Wish Claw, give it to them. So I can go get a card, put it to my hand. So I can get the Brainstorm. Put tendrils on top. All right, let's look at their hand. Should have held control on that in case this was an instant. Snapcaster. Okay. Play the jets from four. Holy moly, Underworld Breach. We're doing it. Let's cast... Uh, hold on. It's from five. Let's probe. Flooded Strand, Duretti, Tinker. From six. This will bring me to from seven. It's from eight, cast Brainstorm. Put Wheel on top with Tendrils on top of it. So I'm going to cast a... A ball ritual from the graveyard into tendrils. Actually, is there a better spell I could cast here? I guess I could play the soul ring. Permanent mana source. All right, it's from nine, it's from ten, tendrils of agony. We did it. Game number one goes to us. All right, good showing, good showing. Take that control deck. Where your turn one mock sapphire. Deck was perfect. I'm just going to resubmit. Game two. We have the Citadel in her hand. Um, I think this is actually a keep, believe it or not. Because if I draw a swamp, 
I can set up a turn where I play Mana Flare into Time Lock, untap, and Citadel. Maybe that's a little bit too ambitious, but that's what I'm thinking. Ancestral Vision, draw, brainstorm. Let's pass the turn. Ancestral Vision goes to three counters. Waterlogged Grove, Mock Sapphire, sure thing. And they're just passing with three cards in hand. Draw. Let's see if I can brainstorm into something good here. But there are some black sources. Hmm. Play the C. Pass the turn. Three mana. Thirst for discovery. Discard's char. Okay. Misty. Still two counters on the vision. They just conceded the game. I think they meant to fetch a forest, but I'm not actually sure. All right, that's a little unfortunate. That's how this round ended, but I can't do anything about it. We're one to know. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Match number two, we're on the play. Nope. Is this better? I wonder if I'm supposed to just like mulligan to like LED echo or like Tinker. I think I'm going to at least go to five here. We've opened up Tinker, no artifact, no blue source. Bottom of the tendrils and mana flare? Or is Seething Song better? Mana Flare is probably better than Song. We need a lot of things to go right with this hand. You play an island. That's not a good sign. Well, I hit my artifact. I just need a blue source now. That should be pretty easy. Mountain. Come on, deck. Please give me an island. Wheel. Can't believe I'm doing this. I'm going to give them Mana Flare. Pass the turn. You're going to force my Mana Flare? They forced my Mana Flare! Wow, perfect bait. <laughs> sure. Mishra's Workshop, okay. Coalition Relic, three cards in hand. Deck Faden. Oh, that's just mean. That was mean. Draw. I think I only have like four more artifacts in my deck for this tinker. Pass the turn. All right, the relic will trigger. They make a blue. They play Academy, two cards in hand. Four mana, what is this? Narset, that's not good for me. They could have targeted me with the Dak Fade, and they might still. They target themselves. They have an Ugin. So this Wheel and Frantic Search in my hand is dead now. So I want to draw like Island into Artifact for Tinker. Draw. Step one. Time lock. Come on, deck. Please give me the mox. That doesn't do anything here. Um, let's just look at their hand, I guess. Carn liberated. Yeah, they're going to carn me. Let's just go to the next game. I've lost that one. That was brutal. 
So we know that they have force and negation. I'm going to have to keep that in my mind. Let's just resubmit, try to get a better hand. A little surprised that the big mana deck forced a negation my wheel. Or, I'm sorry, my mana flare. On the play for game two. Don't think I'm supposed to keep that, unfortunately. Keep bottom the citadel? I mean, this is just a turn three echo. Dress you. We're going to leave the force of negation because I have the brutality. Let's take the mana vault. Pass. They play island. Draw. Mana flare. Target them. Target them. Discard the echo. Deck Faden was the draw. Discard the force. Pass the turn. No land. Draw. Swamp. Yeah, I'm just going to flash this back now because I don't want them playing the Grim Monolith and getting ahead. This is actually pretty good. I just have to pass, unfortunately. Clarion Academy. Nice. Okay, they have an artifact. They have a Black Lotus in their deck. That's scary. Retrofitter. Draw. Okay. What can we do here? Let's cast the Brainstorm. I have not played a land yet, so let's put back a land. Play Soul Ring. Hmm. I'm going to cast Frantic Search. Untap these. So if I play Brawl into DT, I can tinker with the Brawl and play. I'm just trying to figure out if I have a better line here than... Um, this would be 7. Wish Claw would be 8. Tendrils would be 9. I'm um, one mana short of that, actually. Grab the Tinker, and let's cast it. Sack the Diamond. All right, we have Citadel. It's a start, I guess. Let's untap our lands. Nope, land on top. Braid my Citadel. That's not very nice. We have to pass the turn. So if I draw a red source, we can play the breach, but we know my top card is a land that I don't want. We only have five red sources in our deck and one of them is in our graveyard. Pass the turn. Golos, two cards in hand. Pick up a Triome, okay. They make another Servo. Draw. Brutality. I think I want to sit on this for a little bit. Fiery Islet. Ah, oh, I wasn't fast enough. I was not fast enough. They get my Soul Ring mana. I guess they had five mana from... T they probably didn't need it. I'll take three. I'm at 15. My deck, please, red source. Killing me. Pass the turn. There's discarding red sources like they're nothing. They're ready. They kill my Baral. They're making more servos. Yep. Okay, I'm taking seven here. I'm dying pretty quickly. Draw. Uh, am I dead? I think I have to do three. Discard some plans I don't need. So this puts me to one at the moment. I have four red sources, 18 cards in deck. 
So we're a little bit under 25%. Yep. Retrofitter doing its thing. All right, I go to one. Draw. Ah, uh, that's a real bummer. Okay. We're one in one. That's unfortunate. Our deck just did not cooperate this round. Looks like we didn't even have a red source coming either. Wow. Okay. Round three coming up. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as seven tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. Match number three, we're on the draw and this hand is pretty darn good. I'm going to keep it. Keep our opponent with a mulligan. Forest. Oh, hey there, Sol Ring. What's good? Welcome to the party. No second land box chat. Wow. Getting a little bit lucky here. Let's time walk. And then cast a monic tutor. Is there a card that will make my Citadel more consistent next turn that I can grab here? Maybe Brainstorm? Draw. So we'll cast this Cabal Ritual. This gives me four mana. So I guess I'd have to reveal an island in order for this Brainstorm to matter. You're ready. Well, there's my island. We'll escalate with two modes. Target them. We'll discard a swamp. Take their channel. Wow, they had turn two channel with the Ulamog. That's insane. Okay, uh, let's cast Brainstorm here. Put oh, Wishclaw LED on top. Hold priority on the Frantic Search. Allow that to resolve. Discard the Echo, discard the land. Untap, untap, untap. Roll Signet, and that's the game. So we can sacrifice... Actually, let's float some mana. We'll go to five here and untap our lands. Land, untap. Sacrifice this diamond for triple black. Activate the Wishclaw Talisman. Never even needed the Duretti. We'll go grab the Tendrils of Agony, target them. This is how we do. Alright, game two. No changes from me. Click submit. Game two, we've opened up Tinker and an Artifact. This is definitely what I want. We just have to find one more mana. Keep. Forest into Elf. We have the turn to Brutality if we can make it that long. Underground Sea past the turn. Windswept Teeth. For an Overgrown Tomb. Fellows, that's a card I would love to kill with a collector brutality. Draw brainstorm. Let's do three modes kill the Rafellos, target them, discard the seething song, and turn about. Uh, I'm definitely interested in getting this mind twist here. Thank you. That's the turn. <laughs> Brutality so good. Excellent draft pick. We have three mana for a coalition relic and pass the turn. Land. This is how we do. Our deck might be a little bit light on red sources. Go grab the citadel. 
Old already. Discard the brainstorm. I want to keep the breach. I guess we're casting wheel. This could really bite me. All right, play the claw. Ah, uh, I revealed land. I unfortunately have to pass the turn here. Let's see if I get punished. They play a Hex Drinker into a Llanowar Elves. They still have a blue in pool. They play a Cradle. Okay, they still have five cards in hand, so that's plenty of mana. They have four, five, six mana available here. Worm Coil Engine. Liking my odds now. Let's go to 10. I don't think I want to play. I guess I have a red off the gruel signet. We can play this. Plus, we'll discard two lands. Mana Flare. Wall Ritual. Duress. We have the Ulamog in hand. We'll play a Soul Ring. Part of me like wants to go to one and cast this, but I don't know if I'm supposed to. You know what? Let's have some fun. We're going to one life. All right. Casper all. Time walk. Collect a brutality with three modes. Target them. We'll kill the hex drinker. And they just conceded the game. All right, that means that we went 2-1 and got our money back. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. My last cube videos, I mean, let's be honest, they haven't done very well. So if you're interested in watching this, let me know in the comment section down below. Maybe share it. I, I uploaded this realizing that I'd probably be taking an L on today's video, but I wanted to upload a cube video during cube season. I do appreciate you watching. Thanks again. And as always, keep storming. Hey, Brand Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.